The Conservative Party is looking into the decriminalisation for non-payment of the BBC licence fee. And just before we begin, I love the delicious irony of reading this news story on BBC News itself. So this is the headline, BBC, TV licence fee decriminalisation being considered. Let's take a closer look at this story. The government is to consider whether failure to pay the TV licence fee should cease to be a criminal offence, the Treasury Minister has said. Rishi Sunak confirmed Prime Minister Boris Johnson has ordered a review of the sanction for non-payment of the £154.50 charge, which funds the BBC. Prosecution for non-payment of the fee can currently end in a court appearance and a potential fine of up to £1,000, but the BBC warned decriminalisation could cost it £200 million a year. Mr Sunak did not elaborate on an alternative method that could be used to enforce payment of the TV licence. However, a previous government review in 2015 looked into whether a fine for non-payment could be issued under civil law instead, similar to the fees for breaking parking, bus lane and congestion charge rules. During the election campaign, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he thought replacing the licence fee entirely needs looking at. You have to ask yourself whether that approach to funding a media company still makes sense in the long term, given the way that other organisations manage to fund themselves, he said. The system of funding out of what is a general tax bears reflection. So the Tories are no big fans of the BBC. The BBC does seem to have an agenda. It does seem to have a bias. We've seen this uh, with you know Brexit debates. Brexit exposed the BBC uh, hugely, in my opinion, of having a bias. Now, the BBC should be impartial it should give both sides of, of any debate you know equal chance to put their points across and I think it's being just normal people now are just seeing this bias that the BBC naturally has and obviously the Conservatives bear the brunt of that because the natural left wing uh, bias within the BBC lead them uh, to being more beneficial to the Labour Party I wouldn't say it's, it's always necessarily a left wing bias but they certainly have like just a, an institutional Bias. We see this in the civil service and places like this as well. It's this kind of elite, white, middle class, university educated uh, type of people and they just have their own agenda and this is uh, very clear within the BBC. I haven't agreed with BBC uh, for a long time so I stopped paying my TV licence fee you know, three, four years ago. I only watch uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, uh, YouTube Premium. You know, I don't have adverts on any of those services. Uh, you know, you're only looking like £10 a month subscription for each of those. Uh, and I subsidise those by not paying a TV licence. If you're not paying your £154 a year, it gives you a little bit more money to pay for YouTube Premium, you know, Amazon Prime, things like that. So what the government are looking at here, bringing down the BBC is going to be a difficult thing to do, but this is probably the easiest way if the government do pursue this. And it looks like Boris Johnson has been quite angered, especially over the way the BBC have portrayed both himself, Boris Johnson, and Brexit itself. So the Tories are angry at this. It's going to be hard to bring down the BBC entirely. I think their current charter runs to something like 2027. But if they just decriminalised uh, non-payment of the licence fee, so many people are just going to, even if they're not breaking the law, like I don't break the law, I don't watch live broadcast, and I don't watch BBC products, I have no need to have a licence fee. But this will wake a lot of people up, in my opinion, to thinking, well, well hang on, what am I actually getting uh, for my service here? And from what I've read, online and so many YouTube videos, the main people that get caught out by being dragged through the court system uh, tend to be women. They Because there's a private company that will come and knock on your door. I think it's run by Capita. TV licensing is a private company. They're only there to catch you out. If you engage with them, they will try and ask you bamboozling questions. I think more often than not, men will just tell someone at the doorstep to politely go away. Uh, women will more likely to engage with them because women tend to have you know better communication skills and they don't like upsetting people so much. So I think it's disproportionately unfair that women are targeted by the current uh, laws. You know, the, we're using the public court system to basically enforce uh, the BBC. I don't think that's fair in any way. So it looks like the Tories will use the decriminalisation of the licence fee as one of their tools to bring in down the power of the BBC. Now the TV licence fee has been around since 1946. It is so outdated. Now I mean you could easily slip up in 2019 and end up watching live broadcasts. So I don't have an aerial on my house, I don't have a satellite dish, I don't have any way of receiving uh, just standard broadcast transmission. But if you're on YouTube you can so easily just end up watching Sky News Live which in theory you know you are then breaking the law and you would need a BBC licence to or TV license to watch live broadcast Sky News or any other uh, live news service 
uh, on your on your computer on your device. So I think that's entirely unfair. I mean, when they set the license fee up in 1946, there's no way they can envisage, envisage YouTube and the way the systems are now. It's almost me like putting a billboard on my on the side of my house and says, if you read this billboard, you owe me 154 pounds. That's not fair because. You know, the way technology is now, you can be watching YouTube, you could click something which actually requires you to have a TV license, you have no warning. So the TV license is in completely outdated, I agree 100% with Boris Johnson uh, on him saying that. Now until this hopefully happens, because I for one don't really like the BBC, I don't like their agenda, I don't like uh, them portraying themselves as an unbiased news source when clearly they have uh, inherent bias. Until you get to that point, I'd recommend just everybody go out, stop paying their TV license, get yourself something like an uh, Amazon Fire Stick, which is what I use. Just get yourself Netflix, uh, YouTube Premium, uh, Amazon Prime. That will cover you for like 99% of your entertainment. I myself, I pretty much watch like 90% YouTube anyway. I just watch the odd thing on Netflix and, uh, and Amazon Prime. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. I personally think this is a good thing coming from the government. Obviously, the Tories are very angry. Boris Johnson himself very angry over the spin that the BBC have put on everything over Brexit, just their general anti-Tory bias. But it's, it's understandable. I mean, the, the BBC like to say they're kind of a, an equal opportunities employer and they favour, you know, minorities and BAME and, you know, LGBT. But the core people making decisions are white, university educated, middle class people. And you can, uh, you can see that inherent bias in everything the BBC do, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if, if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. Let me know if you still pay a TV license. I think the more people that stop paying, the quicker it reduces the stranglehold that the BBC actually, BBC actually has on UK media here in the UK. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Jason from Liberty Bunker signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.